Yeah, so, but uh, <laughs> Michael, let me bring you into this. Um, they, they've, they've also raised issues of um, vote buying. You know, that has also come into place. I mean, we have an election coming in not too far from today, I mean, which is going to be taking place in Oshun. I mean, and the issue of vote buying is one of the issues that, you know, key stakeholders have raised, you know, that will play a role, you know, in this election. I've, we've seen in previous elections yeah. and all that. But, so how do we curb that coming forward? Do you think it's going to happen? Definitely, it's going to happen in the, in the Oshun election. And how do you think we're going to curb that? Well... From what we saw in the AKT, or up there in the AKT, where security agencies were used for vote buying, I think it's only really necessary for is, is, that, is that is that on is that on record? Did, did, were security agencies used? Where from videos on social media, so, uh, uh, voters said um, security officers were used. So, but, but of course, it's not on record. I think 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 I People copy it to court and over because I remember Serap, uh, uh, Serap uh, sued them to charge it, but said yeah. they can't do it yet. So, we so with, with that, you know, we have we definitely have a replay in the election, and from, from whatever whatever happens in the election, it will, it, will, it will turn out to what will be the general players to come come twenty twenty nineteen general election. So, yeah. for now, I think that's the new face of uh, region. Both binds in the new face of region. So. So I, I don't think we're going to be able to <laughs> cut, cut that uh, unless it is, if 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 we can okay, maybe we can start voting with via uh, electronic and be able to stop. But of course, even with electronic, I'm sure there'll be there'll be there'll still be means to to do to bypass it and rig rig also. So that's for us. I think rig is going to stay with us for a long, very long time. Uh, why do you think so? I mean, it's, we are Nigerians. So we always look for ways to bypass. Do you uh, think rigin will be with us for a long time? Rigging will be with us for. <clears throat> Excuse me. A very long time. If we don't put some mechanisms into place, like to curb it, because naturally human beings will always look for ways to cut corners every, uh, everywhere in the whole world. For example, if there are if there is transparency in a particular process, even if you want to read, you yourself will your conscience will tell you that hello, this thing is cool, this thing is okay, it is, it is fair. But in a system whereby you see that somebody is getting to a particular position and you know that the, what trumped him up there was not fair enough. You want to find your way around it. Then if the system don't provide for a transparent process, for example, the umpire, INEC, if you say that INEC is not being fair enough or a particular political party is using security agencies against the other, there is no way the other party will like it and they might choose to probably cause violence or use the back door, which is rigging. Yeah. But if there is a system that even those who try to rig, they are caught and prosecuted. So when everybody is seeing it that if you try this, there is an end game to it. Yeah. People will avoid it. Well, I, I, even I, abroad, there is rigging, even in the US. Yeah, well. Which that, has a very that, much that, more that, 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 um, that needs to be, to be to be confirmed. But let me bring in, let me bring um back Mr. Ajijola into the conversation. And so I mean talking about vote buying and all of that, th there is also the the um the um, money that has been budgeted for for the elections, the election budget, you know, that is also bringing about a back and a forth, you know, here and there. Um, how will that affect, you know, the whole process? Uh, it is very impossible to conduct election without a uh, finance. Um, as it is now, there has been a request made by the president for 242 billion in a letter of supplementary budget environment to the National Assembly on the 11th of July. That letter was read on the floor of the Senate on the 17th of July, 2018. The National Assembly went on recess, two months recess on the 24th of July, without setting up committees to review INEX budget for 2018 elections. Unfortunately, um, that is where we are, though. On the 8th of August, INEC leadership went met with the Senate leadership, and they resolved that the committees should review it. And on the 13th to 15th of August, the Senate Committee on INEC, House Committee on Electoral Matters, had meetings on this uh, budget. On the 17th of August, the Senate Chairman on, I, on um, INEC, INEC and also the Joint Senate Committee on INEC Chairman, Senator Suleiman Nazif, had said or said that they were going to um, you know, adjust, they could look at the budget proposed by INEC. Though he later reversed that and said it will be on the 27th of August. Eventually, they did meet on the 27th of August after Salah and then agreed that they were going to provide a budget of 143 billion, not also considering the budget for security agencies, and asked INEC to revise their budget 
to reflect this. The next day, the 28th of August, they did now at this point say that they were going to invite INEC. INEC came to revive with the revised budget. Then for about three, four days, um, there were some activities in the committee to look at the budget um, and scrutinize it. On the 31st of August, Senate committee, joint Senate committee on INEC and electoral matters came out to say that they were deducting 200 million from the 143 billion naira, and then that it was going to be forwarded to the appropriations committee. Let me since that day, 31st of August till this day, Mr. as I speak to you, yeah. Nigerians have had nothing about the development of the budget. Yet primaries have commenced, and political parties' primaries need to be monitored by INEC because so, so they are disputed primaries in certain occasions. And if you do not have INEC monitoring these primaries, where there are disputes, there will be nobody to say which one is authentic, which one is not authentic, and it will create a big mess down the line. Uh, Apart from that, uh, the right. need to be thought and other things. Okay, just hold your thoughts for a second. Um, we will just take a quick break. And um, we'll okay. be back. Yeah, we're back to continue with this discussion. Please don't go away.